G'day, it's John and Ruth here. We're gonna give you a boot camp class. So let's get into it. We're gonna start with star jumps. Let's go. So 30 seconds. Let's get the arms nice and straight. Reach all the way up. Start to feel your heart pumping. Get the breathing going. The whole body starts to move in sync. Hope you're ready for a big workout today. So, three, two, one. Let's come onto our mat now, and we're gonna come into a downward dog. So hips in the air, heels down. Just bend your right knee to stretch your left calf, and then swap it over, and swap again. And keep that happening from side to side. Just getting a good length up through the spine, and a really nice stretch in the calf muscles. And good one. Now we're going to step our right foot on the outside of our right hand and reach up, then back to down dog. Left foot outside of left hand and reach. Keep going like that as you alternate from side to side. Perfect. Nice big stretch. This one really opens up through the front of the hip and starts to mobilize the thoracic spine. Perfect for preparing your body for a healthy workout. If at first you can't reach your foot as far forward as Ruth is here, that's okay. Just step halfway forward and gradually, over the course of a minute, get into a deeper and deeper position with the stretch. Remember, we're still warming up, so there's no need to push yourself to your limit to begin with. We want to give the muscles a chance to warm into it. And that's good, Ruth. Let's stand up now. And we're going to go to star jumps again, but this time with backwards circling arms. That's it. Good. This one's nice because it really opens up the shoulders. If you've been sitting down for the last couple of hours, chances are your shoulders have slumped forward. This will help to open them all the way back up. Get your breathing going. Keep it up for another five, four, three, two, and good one. Then let's come to the down dog through the pigeon. So we're gonna breathe in at this point, and then breathe out to go back. And then breathe in at this point, and out to go back. The idea is we get the front the knee near the hand and the foot near the other hand. Be careful for your front knee here. If you have any pain in your knee, this is not a good one to do. In which case, you could do something more like this. Just coming back and across and back and across. Be sensitive to how you feel as we move throughout the class today. Any joint pain or sharp pain, stop straight away. Usually, with this type of class, you're gonna get a muscular burn that builds up over the course of time doing the exercise. And that's usually a safe pain to work into as the muscles really load. Say so another three. And last one on the left. Good, and then we'll stand back up. And we're gonna do star jumps, but with forward circling arms. See, so by now, hopefully you can feel the core temperature is up, the blood is in all the working muscles, our joints are starting to mobilize. We're getting ready for a good little strength and cardio circuit. If you need extra breaks throughout any of this, keep going 10 seconds, then that's totally fine. Have as much breaks, as many breaks as you need to. Build up over time to try and do the whole thing, but you don't have to start with that. And good, now we're gonna be on our mat. Nice wide leg position. Toes a little turned out, come down and across. Just feel a stretch through the inner thighs. Back up, and then down and across. Keep that happening. Only go as low as what feels good for you. The stretch should be felt up the inside of the straight leg, um, but just gently, don't overdo it. That's perfect. Breathe out as you go down. 
we're just keeping a nice straight back there. So as she comes down and across, the back isn't actually rounding at all. Two more. Good, okay, if you'd like to just take a little drink, just have 30 seconds, get yourself ready. We're gonna do the first of the little circuits. It goes in three. So, here's the first one. Getting ready, we're gonna come into mountain climber. So, ready, down onto your mat. Hard version would be to jump through like so. Easier version, tap. Ready, 30 seconds starts now. So either high impact without touching the ground with your front leg or lower impact, just tapping the toes lightly. Do the one that's right for you as you just try and keep your core nice and strong, arms straight. That's it, good. And nice, now that's 30 seconds we're gonna lie on our tummy. We're going to interlock behind the hands behind the back and then bring them round lightly to interlock behind the head. Keep going like that. Interlock behind the back, interlock behind the head. Notice that we're looking down at the mat. Try not to have your head up now because that will pinch the back of your neck. Also, if you feel your lower back more than anywhere else, use your muscles to tuck your tailbone under glutes and tummy so that you unsquash your lower back. Keep that going for another five and the last one there, that's good. And from that position we're going to stand up, so left foot forward, right foot forward, stand and then back down. Keep going like that. This one's a simple one, we just call get up, get down. So at the moment Ruth and I are doing the low impact version, just keeping it controlled stepping forward and back. If you feel fine and you want to, you can do the high impact version, which would be the jump through, jump up. Be careful though, please, don't overdo the jumping one. If you feel any back pressure, definitely don't jump. It's important that you hold your core tight here, really flex the abs and the glutes. Another three, two, and that's the last one. We're going back to mountain climber. So here we go, ready? 30 seconds starts now. Good, so that was a little three exercises. We're going to repeat three times. If you need to have a break throughout this, please do. Don't force yourself to do all of it at first. Just another five, four, three, two, then lying on our tummy, face down, interlock the hands behind the hips then interlock the hands behind the head. Keep that going for 30 seconds if you can. Notice how Ruth is looking down, so the back of her neck stays long. Notice also she's got her tailbone nicely tucked under, so there's no squashing of the lower back. You may not be able to get your hands right back off your hips like that. That's okay, we're gonna to work towards that over time. No, and that's the last one, so get up and get down now. Either low impact, or high impact. Good, we're doing well. Yes, nice option. This one's great for working all the big muscle joints, muscles and joints of the body. So it really gets the heart rate up. Staying strong for another 10 seconds. And fantastic, Ruth, here we go, last time doing the mountain climber. So, finish well, guys, ready? Tapping or jumping through, fast as you can. Good, that's nice control there. Yep, either option, really good. Just gotta really listen to your body when you do these. Make sure that you're working appropriately for your needs today. It might not be as much as you did yesterday, if that's, that's okay. Stay strong and keep pushing through for another five, four, three, two, then face down and we're gonna do the interlock the fingers behind the hips and then interlock the fingers behind the back of the head. Working all the back muscles. You can see what a good one this is for posture. Again, if we tend to sit, which most of us do for work, then all these muscles get really weak at the back of the body. 
What we're doing now is really keeping them strong. Stay with that for another five, four, three, and last one. And then we've got 30 seconds of get up, get down. Quick as you can. Jump if you can, or stepping is also fine. But just give it a good go, because in 20 seconds, we're gonna get a rest and have a drink. Awesome. Stay strong now. Two more, up and down. Good, good, and one more. And fantastic, well done. So have about a minute's rest, just grab a drink. We're not quite finished with the workout, but it's important that you actually have a little break now, let the heart rate come down, get yourself ready for the next thing. <clears throat> Good, how are you feeling? <laughs> so we're coming good in a minute. We'll just give you another 20 seconds. Okay, so ready? The next one we're gonna do is a side plank. So here we go. <clears throat> Come on to your, um, lots of options with side plank. It's either with straight legs like this, or if you're new to side plank, do a bent knee version. Ready, and let's go. So give us 30 seconds, either like so. Just make sure your neck is straight, the arm is directly underneath your shoulder. Good, that's it. We're gonna hold on there for another 15 seconds. It's important in side plank to get it in the right spot. The right spot would be your shoulder and the side of your abs, not your lower back. Give us another five, Three, two, and do the other side. So head down this end. Yep, ready, and let's go. Boom. 30 seconds. Good. So like I've noticed, Ruth's front foot is, is on top. The top leg is in front. Keeping that nice long spine, keeping tucked under. So the way, if you feel anything in your lower back, first try and tuck under. Just lengthen that lower back part and work here more. If that doesn't help, have a rest and go down to the easier version, which I demonstrated earlier. Another three, two, that's the easy version, thank you. Okay, running on the spot, 30 seconds, ready? Up we come, ready, and let's go. Bom, bom, bom. Fast as you can. So you can either, depending on how tired you are, you might do little ones like this, or you might do big ones like this. Either way, try and really get it going. Only 15 seconds to go. What you put into the workout will reflect how much you get out of it. Give us another five, four, three, two, and side plank, please. Let's go. Two more rounds and then we're done. Here it is. Yep. Yeah. So good. We can get another <laughs> great option with the straight arm. Exactly. So just to review while Ruthie's doing that beautiful version would be this version, straight leg version, or straight arm version. All good options, depending on your body and how it feels. Keeping that sense of length and strength. We hold tight for another five, three, two, and awesome. Swap it over, other side, ready, and let's go. Good. That's it, perfect. The sign of the body is often missed when it comes to strength training, and especially if you're just doing machine weights or something like that. You're going to get very linear in the way your body works. The, the sides of our hips, the side of our shoulders, and the sides of our core are very important when it comes to overall three-dimensional strength and stability. For another three, two, and let's go. Last one for here, along with the running. It's not actually the last one, but I sometimes say that just to make it feel like we're nearly there. <laughs> Let's go, quick, 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 30 seconds. I better do some. And good, 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 all the way. 15 seconds. Try and match your breathing in time with your steps. So you might count four breaths, four steps in, four steps out. And that's it, here we go. Last time, 30 seconds, boom. 
Good, Ruthie's chosen her favourite option, which is the uh, what we call the show-off version. <laughs> no, it's good. And definitely, if you don't worry if you can't do this. If you can, I mean, if you're doing it, make sure you really grip the floor with your fingers so that you're switching on your wrist muscles. A lot of people feel a bit of tension here, but that will go over time as you build the strength in the arm and wrist. Number three, don't forget, this is another great option if you want to do it. Three, two, one. Let's swap to the other side. Last time side plank today. And boom. <laughs> so we keep it going. Nice and strong. Power through. 30 seconds to go. Good, good, good. 10 seconds now. You can do it. Hold that arm strong. Shoulder, side abs for three, two, and one. Let's finish with 30 seconds running on the spot. You can do it. Let's go, go, go. So last big effort as fast as you can now. What you put in reflects the results you're gonna get. Come on, 20 seconds now, fast as you can. Go, go, go. Ten seconds, go, go, go. And great effort, guys. Well done. Fantastic. So, that was a good little workout. Sort of, uh, just over 15 minutes. And that can be enough. You don't need to do more. But if you want, if you've got more energy and more time, there's no reason why you can't loop through that one or two more times. So by all means, stop now and have a little stretch out. Or if you can, do another one round or two up to a 45 minute workout. Um, lots of different stretches we can do here. Ruthie just stretching out the hammies a little bit. Um, that warm up we did stretched a lot of good areas. So you could just repeat the warm up now if you wanted to finish up. Anyway, thanks for coming today. I hope you got a really good workout out of it and we'll see you again next time.